All right, this is Blender Challenge 11 Survival Game, part two. Part one was the announcement, and part two here is the beginning of the modeling. And uh, what I've chosen to do is something from the game Alien Isolation. And this is what I want to model right here. Uh, not sure about the door stuff uh, right now, so I'm going to work on some of the wall stuff uh, right here this is actually the only reference image that I have so it makes it a little bit challenging so I'm gonna have to use my imagination and uh, and make some of this stuff up all right so I'm gonna start by creating uh, these pieces here and work our way work our way down all right so here I am in blender and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring in a cube and bring it up here uh, let's see here I'm gonna take this edge and I'm gonna push it back like this and come underneath here and I extrude this down a little bit and I think we'll look from here and just bring that up to here Maybe I'll select this and scale this in the Y a little bit wider like that so I got a piece here I'm going to go ahead and put bevel modifier on this I'll use 3 and 0 0.02 maybe 1 uh, that's okay for the time being okay now I'm gonna take this guy and duplicate it shift D and duplicate and this one is a little bit taller so I think I'll come in here and um, just pull it yeah, that's not what I want to do is it uh, let's see I'll bring it up like that I think Take that and I'll look. Uh, actually, I think the whole thing I'm going to pull out a little bit. I'm gonna take this, I'm going to look from the side and just sort of bring it back like that. We'll do something like that. Um, thinking for both of these, I might want a little bit more because I think I want to take this edge actually and bring it down a little bit. edge too actually let's have a little bit different okay so this guy and this guy and that one like I said comes up a bit higher um, okay it's an okay start now on top of this is a piece here and we see that same piece I think here and over here so let's just do something with that um actually no before i do that i'm going to take this we're going to be making a change to these guys in a bit shift d to duplicate pull it up just a little bit p to break it out oh. and i'm going to extrude that up i just want to decide if i think that's wide enough i think everything needs to be wider so I'm going to take everything here and we're going to scale this all in the Y and do that kind of thing. And we'll come back to this guy and make it a bit taller there like that. Okay, and we're going to make it a lot deeper like that. So now I'm going to come into these guys and select all of this stuff here. i pull it back to about the same distance I'll be getting rid of those back faces anyhow okay now still is it wide enough nope it's not yeah okay scale up everybody everybody in the Y now I can come in here and in face selection shift D take that give it a bit of thickness and uh, control LP and break it out I'll set the origin geometry on that guy I'll just put that down there uh, there is one here as well right okay so let's let's shift D and G and just bring it over and has it stick out sticks out a little bit to the side so I'll come in grab that face and just pull it out a bit it's just um, okay okay let's 
do that. Uh, how are all my polys? Yeah, okay. Good. Now, I'm going to take this, shift D to duplicate it, bring it up, go into edit mode, and I'll grab that top face and pull it up. And I'm going to roll my mouse up three times, and I think I'll take this front, turn on proportional editing, and pull, roll my mouse downwards and make a bit of a curve like that. We'll do that and we'll get rid of these back faces. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the bevel for that and go control two, shade smooth and put an edge loop there and control B and split it out to the sides and I'll bring one more up like this. And then I'll make those cushion like things here. So there's one there. Now let me see how high the first one goes up. I got a six or so of that. So that's probably okay. Maybe uh, maybe it's a little bit. Let's turn that off. Okay, let's take that and bring it up. It doesn't go quite up to the top. Let's go to there maybe. And let's shift D to duplicate it. Go to edit mode and scale it in Z like this so I would have those this thing that three of those that guy there okay let's um, I'm gonna focus just on these hit the shift key and I think what I'll do is I'll select the edges um, Try just the front edges on all of these and see how it looks with the control B with that kind of a bevel. So I think we're going to do that. Maybe a bit extreme, but see it there all right now let's come into this one here and let's uh, inset how much that's yeah, all right doesn't matter really and then pull it in still have a good bevel okay and then I'm going to select that face I'm going to switch over to normal shift D and pull it out to near the front, scale it in the X, like about that. Let's push it down a little bit and then extrude it up, not too much. Control L, get it all, and pull it over here. Let's scale this in the Y just a bit so it goes in, look from the front, and then by eye, I'm just going to duplicate this a number of times. I'm gonna try for six if I can. Four, five now. Didn't quite make it, so let's see if I can make these a bit more even so that I can get six out of this. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, something like that. Now, um, there's something underneath these and I'm not sure what I want to do yet with that so I'm going to leave that part and uh, we'll just move on and do uh, some other things we'll come back and do some details uh, in a moment okay so I've got that let's see let's bring everything else back there we go good Just thinking, I want to just do that a little bit less on that one. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to bring in a cube. Okay, let's 
split that and start pulling this up and that down. This sort of is three quarters of the way up that, so maybe I'll take these and push them down. This doesn't come up that high, I don't think. About halfway maybe on that thing. So I could do something like that. And how out in front is it? It is a little out in front, as it is appearing there. Um, so what I would need to do is I need to pull this back. And I also want to actually extrude it. I do actually want a flat piece there, I believe. And I don't want this perfectly flat either, this part here. I kind of want a little bit of a slope to it. Um, now, let's make sure we have a bevel on this. Let's see how it's going to look. Okay, not much of a bevel, so I might actually uh, do something to that in a minute. Um, okay. I'm going to come in here, put an edge loop, and scale Z0 to straighten it out. I'm going to bring this down to about there. And then I'm going to, let's delete these. And let's um, E and Alt S and pull. we get some extra faces there. But rid of all of them. Just these ones here. Oops. Okay. Go with that, and um, um, let's put an edge loop in here and slide it out. It's a, some room here on the sides, not much at the top and bottom. So do that, and then I'll split this one. There, that's probably okay. Let's take this and just uh, extrude it in. Just do that. And I may want to select these edges. Let's turn off the bevel. Let's see about rounding this. It's gonna be a little ugly in terms of the topology, but hopefully it's it's alright. Let's, uh, let's see how this looks. If I throw a few edges in and, and then put the bevel back on, you know, a little bit nicer. Um, now, I was also thinking of just selecting this edge. Maybe I could leave that, we'll see. And this edge. And I'm, I'm just going to try and see how, how much I. It's down to zero. If I like this, if that's too sharp. So if I do that, and that's one thing. What about if I also do that? What does that give me there, that triangle? Eh? Which I may not like. Mm. You can always 
remove that later if I don't like it. This might fit the style. I think I'll leave it for now. Um, is that big enough? Okay, it looks like it's about, let's just duplicate that. One, two and a half or so of that. Yeah, it's probably okay. Um, I'm going to, for now, duplicate this stuff over to the other side. Um, so I'm gonna take this and all of this stuff. Is that one piece? Yeah. And I'm gonna copy it, even though I'll be deleting it soon. I just wanna get a sense of this thing and start making the, the wall itself. Shifty. Like I said, I gotta put stuff in there, and I will be doing stuff in probably Substance uh, Painter for some of these details here. Okay, so what I'm going to do next in order to figure out the size of things a little bit better is I'm gonna bring in a plane, I'm gonna scale this in the, in the Y to represent the floor. this and bring it to the back I'm gonna extrude it up and then what am I gonna do so it's gonna come up and then you got this thing here I think what I'll do I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out past that. In fact, I think I'll go into wireframes a little bit easier to see. All right, past that a little bit and then come up on an angle and then they come up straight a bit and the rest of the roof like this. You'll see what I'm getting at in just a second here. Okay, so now I wanna decide if these need to be taller no, I don't think so. Not, not really. Uh, so let's go in here. Let's get rid of that face. I know I got one on the bottom still. And let's just adjust the size of the um, of the roof there. The height. Just pull it down like this. So one of the reasons I'm doing this now is because I want to see how much room I have here. Because there's this much and then there's that plate there. That's probably okay. Uh, and then there's some space with those. Let's see, everything looks like it's roughly where it's supposed to be. Okay, let's save. And okay, let's get back to work on this guy here. I want to model the panel here, all right? So it's, I don't know, a little bit rectangular. So let's, uh, let's see what we're gonna do here. Let's pull that out to there, maybe a bit further. Bring it actually up near the top to define the top. And to about there. I think that's what I'll use for my panel. I'm just gonna extrude this in. And I've got now like a little indentation for it. Okay, still got that face selected. So Shift D, pull it out, P to break it out. And I'm gonna give this some thickness. And I think I can go ahead and delete the back face on this guy. Okay, so this is going to fit in here. 
soon. All right, we need to make the screen. And it looks like this whole area right here is inset. So there's a screen in a slightly raised area for this, uh, where you put your key card and a little button and some other stuff as well. And we've got this stuff. So let's, uh, let's think about how to do that. Shape-wise, it looks a little bit different than this, but I think I'm probably going to be okay with that. Just stick with it. Hitting all kinds of... Okay. So, let's put an edge loop and spread it out. Give myself a bit of a border there. I'll bring an edge loop roughly the same. And down here, with a bit of room down here, I'm going to bring another one here. And what I'm going to do here is select both of these, extrude in just a little bit, and then this one a little bit further for the screen. So I have a slightly raised area here. Okay, I'm going to select this face of that raised area, Shift D, and pull it out just a little bit. I'm going to scale it down. And actually, I'm going to scale in the Y. And yeah, it's okay. Maybe I'll make it a bit bigger to accentuate it. I'm going to extend it back and delete that back face. Let's grab it and pull it out a little bit. There we go. Okay. Select that front face, hide inset, pull it in. Nice and thin and extrude back. It's not a lot of room, but that's going to be the key card there. Now, if I want to make it a bit bigger, I could just grab these faces and just, just pull it out more so you can see it a bit better. Okay. I'm going to select this again. Shift D. Scale this in the Y. Slide it over. Scale it down. And I'm just going to extrude this out. And let's see what I can do. Let's just... How about we delete that face and then select a bit, Control L, and let's rotate Y 180 just to flip it around and push it. I don't mind if it sticks out nicely so it's nice and visible. And if I wanted to, I could just scale it down like that, make it kind of a button like that. I'm not going to worry about stuff right there. And then we will let's select this whole thing and set the origin and geometry on that, and bring the 3D cursor there, and make it a bit easier. We'll make a little knob of sorts, it's something very simple. So we'll go for um, like 16 vertices. One, scale it down. Rotate Y90 and position it over here. Okay, that's a bit far. Yeah, let's have a look at this thing here. How big are these roughly? Okay, making this. Uh, whatever. Okay, let's just have to make face E to extrude it back and select that. Control B, put an edge loop of two. I'm going to shade smooth that. It's probably okay just like that. Uh, let's set the origin of geometry and just push it in. And decide if I like it. It's probably just fine like that. So let's take this and just drag it across like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to bring in another edge loop to pretty much where it falls and then split it like this. Let me just want to see. Make this piece here. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's that's fine like that. I'll have to bring in another edge loop there. I don't want it too deep, so just do it like this. And then I'll delete these faces. And then I'll rebuild it. Take this edge, eat extrude, push it in. And I'm going to turn on snap to edge. I'm going to snap down to this edge. Hopefully that worked. And select that edge and make a face. Let me make sure that I got stuff right on that. This edge and this edge. It looks okay. Make a face there. Make a face there. Have a little indent like that. Okay. So, um, 
it's looking pretty flat so let's throw on the cavity shader and I'm not going to do any other stuff on it except I think I will now go in and think about rounding these edges Let's just see how that's going to do. Maybe just that. Just a touch of roundness to it. Potentially the same on here. I'll have to do that. will do a bit of a number on my, uh, on my bevel. But, you know. And let's take this guy and push it back and see if it, I think that's probably okay. I'm gonna put on the shadow as well. Let's hide this stuff. Now I think actually I probably will have to do that. Yeah, that's part of the problem. Why it looks the way it does. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's the way it is. That's just the way it is. So much stuff that you could round. So there's a little you know, more details to do on that. But that, I think, is going to be that piece. And then there'll be a plaque there. So uh, let's see uh, what we can do here. With an inset. And then we'll, that may be something to do in Substance Painter. Um... But I'm going to put a plaque there for the time being, just to finish this off so that it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, so where and how big? I'll, about the bolts. face in fact that doesn't have to come out like that and I'm just going to push it there and I think we'll round the whole stone I mean I round it a bit but let's let's do some more is attached there um, but I could take it control L shift D and G bring it out but let's break it out no not all that's not to non proportional editing let's break it out with P this one this one's bigger to about a third of the uh, of the screen I can do it right, right around there for now and uh, let's just take this and face and sort of snap it to there for now So there's more to model here for sure, but that's a good start, I would think. If I get rid of this guy, and I should put all this stuff in collections, I really should, but we'll do that another time, or I'll do that off on the side on my own. Just 
this one more time. Yeah, there's a few things that I gotta deal with. That's okay like that. Okay. And this is what we've accomplished so far. 